Hello, so I'm back for the third part. Um, just gotta make our way through the bloodshot ramparts. And of course, the never cinematic you can never skip. But I stopped here to take a look at what I had looted. A lot of it I kind of looted by accident, actually. But I thought I might as well sell a bunch of it, since I might as well. I didn't really care too much about it, so. And here I was trying to swap out um, some of my gear, including switching out for a Tesla grenade. Teslas are, again, kind of like fire bursts, but instead of uh, fire, they hit them with, with uh, shock, like electricity. So they're actually really good at stripping shields. I mean, extremely good at taking down shields, so. They're kind of an old favorite of mine, and I know a lot of people love them, too. And they can actually do quite a bit of damage, which is kind of awesome. But it's hard not to like them. So there's a lot of gun loaders and exploders here. So again, kind of like my ever run here, I just kind of ran through as much of it as I could. I didn't care too much about fighting, like, everything. But pretty much, if it was in my way, I started to, I, you know, I fought it off, anyway. Kind of a, kind of a small example of why I love the young Kemp Herald so much. In particular, the double penetrating uh, unkempt herald. It's such a powerful weapon, and it's extremely, extremely versatile. Does good damage. Um, probably its only real weakness is the pel, like the shot, like the bullets. They kind of, they kind of, they kind of travel kind of slowly. If that makes any sense. So. It's not the most perfect weapon in the game, but it's definitely one of the absolute best guns in the whole game, so. And it's one of the best guns for a Gunzerker, period. In an UVHM, I... On every character, actually, I like to have it Unkempt Herald just because of how powerful it is. And it's a really good gun for getting second wins, so. So even if you don't use it all the time, if, even just trying to get second wins, it's an amazing weapon. And it's hard not to like it. Here I kind of forgot that that one Marauder and that, um, that loader there, you can't actually damage them until they're done that whole... Uh, uh, what do you, whatever you call it, like that whole event thing, so. So again, just kind of making my way for here. I saw the super badass spawn. And, I, or, okay, it's just a regular badass, never mind. Yeah, so I think I killed him, yeah, okay. I almost killed him in a couple money shots there. And then for whatever reason, I switched targets, so. That could have been bad, but it wasn't too big of a deal. Yeah, so I didn't really stop to loot a whole lot here. Just mostly just for grenades and ammo. And for whatever reason, these surveyors just kind of hovered right in front of me. And I thought, okay, I'm going to just shoot them. Because usually those things flutter around everywhere and just drive you insane, so but I might as well try to kill them as fast as I can. Just so they don't bug me in the next area. And as you guys can kind of see here, I just tried to run through as fast as I could. Threw down a couple Teslas to try to get my health back up. Which again, the Tesla's pretty good for that as well. It does damage really quickly, so. 
Of course, in con combination with a moxie weapon like the binary ruby. Or I should just say the ruby, period. Here I was kind of experimenting. I wanted to... I wanted to see how fast I could kill this thing with the uh, Lady Fist. Because it's got 800% critical hit damage, so I thought I must well give it a try. Because these, these constructors, unfortunately, um, y you can shoot them anywhere, but they take like extra, a lot more damage in the eye part, so I figured, well, it's a nice big target. Really easy crit spot to hit, so let's use the Lady Fist. Let's kill him really quickly. I was just checking to see how much time I had left on this recording. So here you pretty much have to defend Roland, but in reality it's just more you trying to survive yourself because Roland's actually invincible during this part, so. And of course... All the loaders always seem to go after you instead of him, so. It's kind of funny how they kind of expect you to protect Roland, but in reality it's just you trying to save yourself. And Roland just kind of helps you. So I completed the quest, but there's still a loader, a loader left, so I quickly killed him. I was just kind of running around gathering up some of the grenades and money and so on that I found. So, that's, uh... Yeah, so that's almost it. Um, this part of the video is fairly short, but I just tried to do this as fast as I could. But anyway, um, I'd like to thank anyone for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope, and I hope to see you guys later. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to put more Borderlands 2 videos out for the heck of it, but no promises. I mean, when I get a chance, I will. I love this game. But anyway, we'll we'll see you guys later.